Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trufinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. Um, yeah, so we've been through this entire game before. Um, it's not yet done on YouTube uh, in its entirety. I have completed it by now, of course, but there's a lot of uh, episodes still in the pipeline for the YouTube channel itself. But uh, the plan with this is I'm going to go through New Game Plus on the highest difficulty. So uh, give me God of War. And I think if I just select New Game Plus, I can... Hmm, what's the most recent save? Probably the top one. I can select a save file. And I can confirm. Please make a manual save. New Game Plus will begin as soon as the save completes. Can I actually, wait, go back. Can I change the difficulty? Uh, gameplay probably. Can I change the difficulty beforehand from this menu? Doesn't seem like it. So, you know what, we'll just head straight in. There we go, new game plus, manual save, here we go. And saving. So full disclosure before we head in, um, this is going to be spoilerific for if you haven't finished the game. I'm going to talk about a few things that the game, well, surrounding the ending of the game. Ah, there we go. Let's go with Give Me God of War Plus is for those who want the game as difficult as possible, requiring gold-like reflexes and strategy. Enemies start at power level 7 and this difficulty cannot be changed mid-game, so a new game must be started to change the difficulty. So once we start Give Me God of War, we're actually stuck with it. So uh, here we go. Yes, I am sure. And here we are with the Valkyrie armor. For some reason not the gauntlets, probably because the game doesn't really go with gauntlets in this beginning uh, section. So you can see the bandages on his forearms, of course indicating the Blades of Chaos from previous games. And he, uh, yeah, we're back at the beginning. Man, it's been a while. I think it took me about 40 to 50 hours to complete everything in the game because I, I do have the, pl the Platinum Trophy as well. But let's start whacking. You don't need the prompts for the uh, for the attacks there. And of course, the palm prints are now a lot more significant than it was before. Because, uh, spoiler alert, Faye, Kratos' wife who just died, is actually a giantess. And Atreus is Loki, or is destined to be Loki. Which was, yeah, a huge bombshell at the end of the game. But another one was that Faye knew what was gonna happen. She, she somehow... Yeah, she somehow knew what was gonna happen and... She predicted everything and gave us the tools we needed to complete this journey. Because of course the Leviathan Axe in itself was made by Brock and Sindri for Faye, but she gave the axe to Kratos. And then we have all the climbing awesome. lines. You know what? Is that actually in the boat, boy. mistletoe? Because that's a nice touch. Because of course, again, spoiler alert, mistletoe is the only thing that can hurt Baldur and that's what eventually becomes his downfall at the end of the game. That's a, a nice touch. That Atreus comes with a bit of mistletoe from the beginning of the game already. Cool. Starting to get little hints here and there already. But, moving along. For now, things are going to be simple. And as you can see, New Game Plus kind of kills the continuity of this game. Still want me to tie to the boat? Because we already have the Blades of Chaos. And uh, it's a bit of a bummer that we now have to uh, sit through the beginning of the relationship between Kratos and Atreus again. Boy. Because of course they do get this uh, this working eventually. Even though Kratos is a bit uh, distant at the moment. But look, even Atreus yeah, has his fancy armor. 
and we're completely in gold. So yeah, this time I'm not gonna be surprised when we see the begin credits. Father? What? Did something change? The forest feels different. Everything is different, boy. Christopher Judge. Yes, sir. So yeah, Christopher Judge, of course. Most famous, I think, for uh, playing Tilk in Stargate. One of the series I've, I've watched a lot in my, uh, in my youth. Or younger youth, when I was smaller, younger, whatever. But yeah. Ah, oh, this, this takes me back. I mean, it's been like four months but since this game came out, but still, this has been one hell of a ride. And now to go back through it again, with the extra incentive of getting uh, new armor, new enemies, and definitely new challenges, because um, this is going to hurt, I think. I've completed the game on Give Me a Challenge, so the difficulty below Give Me God of War. Which, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this might hurt because on Give Me a Challenge, most enemies two or three shot at me, especially at the beginning. I don't know if that's even gonna gonna be worse now or a bit better because we have the gear, of course. We're fully loaded up. We are level nine at the moment, which is the the highest the you can be with the uh, gear from uh, <laughs> normal new game. I do wonder what they're gonna do with the scene where you get the Blades of Chaos. Because... Well, there's an entire uh, an entire bit about you retrieving the Blades of Kratos, retrieving the Blades of Chaos from under the house. From right underneath where uh, Faye is lying there. Mother, do I see my mother? Hello there, do I see my father? Hello there, do they call to me? Hello there, do they call to me? And a bit of mistletoe, if that is mistletoe. I, uh... I'm not mistaken. Boom. I love the musical cues in these scenes. Just to make him look a bit more menacing than he than he actually is with Atreus. She's ready. Still, an amazing, especially for this key, low game, low key beginning, but a very emotional beginning. And I mean, for this game series, um, there's actually, you know what? I'm not I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Just, just. Find your way home. I'm gonna give this scene the respect it deserves. You are free. There we go. And there's the knife on top of her body. But then suddenly Atreya spots it. Which is actually interesting. Because it's clear that Atreus gets burned here. 
But of course, later on, well, even in this in this particular instance, you could have known that since Kratos is a god, that Atreus also has godly powers. A knife. But it's weird that it can burn him in this Nurse. instance. Now it is yours. Because in Muspelheim, the heat doesn't really seem to bother him all that much. Although even Kratos uh, gets uh, burn damage during Show fights, me. so Show me. it's a bit inconsistent on that now? front. Now. So, there we go. Let's go hunting. Let's get the uh, completely upgraded Talon bow out of the house. And let's kick off this journey. The journey is who's going to be, which is going to be really, really tough if uh, the previous difficulty was anything to go. You are hunting deer. From? Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay. Uh, this way. Wow. I kind of forgot how big of an, an impact that that first scene has that is really really how big the difference is between this and the ending of the game uh, i'm actually quickly gonna go inside no i can't i need to know you can survive the journey then we leave for the mountain depends on you hunt so the interesting thing that i wanted to say is that um a lot of uh Intrepid gamers have found a secret in the house. If you look around a bit, you can find the four letters spelling out the name Loki inside of the house already. So at the very beginning of the game, again, indicating uh, Atreus's link to uh, that wretched name. Is Cats. there... Not deer, though. I'll keep looking. I think there's a chest on the right here. Can't sprint yet. And then, oh, the artifacts. Oh, no, it's just hack silver. Ah, it's a dick spot, right. Boy, you miss these. Of course, the oh. tracks, so you can rub Boss. it in a bit. But also not deer. See? Tips are too wide. Mountain go? Your mother taught you well. Indeed, because she was a woman with many yeah. talents. Being a giantess, a great warrior, a great huntress, a great mother. And some kind of soothsayer. Not even that. That kind of does it. Does it no service? Because of course, she predicted everything to uh, even a few smaller details. You're not getting a lot of hack silver in this part of the game. We do get more artifacts, so we can do that again. Fair enough. Kind of know where most of them are now. More tracks. Yeah, but they're too round. Could be a wild boar. Good. Now what? So that's that's very interesting, of course, because for some reason, since Fane knew what the journey was going to be in the, in the most minute detail, she marked every single thing we can jump across or climb across. And that's why Kratos, that's kind of the canonical explanation why Kratos can't really climb anywhere oh. else. Wait, deer tracks, they're fresh. This way. Um, I think, is this where we fight? Yeah, this is our first fight, I think. Ah! Found it! Slow down, boy. Sorry. Or you not. Are hunting deer. No, you're, we're not, not yet there. It. Yes, father. Just gonna collect a few things and open up the chest, and then we're gonna continue on. Because I'm really, really curious to see how much my skills will uh, help me out in the fights here because we can get surprised here i think you broke our bridge how are we gonna get across well with this ah okay i can do that as well wow go there we go throwing the levitating axe oh. I've been here. Get it back and jump across. So apparently in New Game Plus we can actually collect oh. more apples and horns. So we can actually increase our maximum health what and you? rage. Now it's guard is up. Speaking about rage. Holy fire. Holy fire. When I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. 
matter. Find it. Because if I, I'm wondering, is that actually the Find case in the beginning, in the first fights? It. Does Atreus fire on his own, expending arrows that you can't use then at this, at that moment? So yeah, this is a weird first scene because for some reason. So there's the fire, but clearly the fire came from up above, so that doesn't indicate that there were Draugr here. Seems like it was something else. I can't actually go left because there's a chest left. Ah, my bow. No! You are not ready! Stay back! Oh, yeah, okay, that was a great start. So he can do that. There we go. Okay. What the hell? I think that's the legendary enemies. Yeah, he leveled up. He became level 8. I'm, I'm just instinctively... Uh, there we go. Taking care of. So that went a lot easier than the first time I did this. Just gonna stun this guy. Jesus. Nope. Oh! I hit the tree instead of him. Oh, god damn it. Kinda got hit there. There we go. So I can kind of get hit, but it's really, really limited. Okay, because that was with a full health bar. Fair enough, fair enough. They've never come this close to our woods before. Keep moving. So we're doing okay. I'm just a bit rusty because it's been a few days again, but I'm gonna, gonna get the hang of this pretty quickly, especially because I... I I was trying to rely too much on uh, Atreus's arrows, which were not available just yet, so... Uh, but I think, I... I'm hoping, as yeah, soon as Atreus sure. gets his, uh, his bow back, that we can actually use all his other abilities immediately then. I'm just gonna go down here, because this was actually an area I missed. I can see more... or we can follow you. So I never got that dialogue uh, either. Uh, so we can go, because there's I think another toy. No, just a bit of hack silver. Because this was one of the artifacts I was missing, and I think it's all the way down this chain. Because there's a few wolves down there, which I don't look forward to fighting. Because I hate wolves. If you've seen my series on God of War, I hate wolves. Oh! But throwing your axe usually uh, helps out with that. There we go. And they do give you a bit of uh, health stones usually. So let's get that slowly going up, because of course we're not going to get as much healing out of health stones than we usually do. We no longer use it. We can. Scap slack, perfect, and that's red then instead of yellow. Rare ores with specific impurities that are the key to unlocking all sorts of unique qualities. That sounds cool, and I'm glad I started opening quests, uh, chests already. They weren't me; they were starving. Yes, I imagine they were. Oh, that's actually a very early indication about Atreus's. Uh, Powers, because he of course can communicate with uh, animals, etc. Animals, souls of people trapped in rings, and pretty much sense any living life forms. Because of course, at the end of the game, he indicates that he knows already that all the giants are dead. Spoiler, but I did say that at the beginning of this video, <laughs> at the beginning of this stream. But I'm gonna re repeat this constantly. Spoiler alert, please, because we're gonna start. Just discussing a few things early on as well. 
Let's get that open. I do have the Retribution Pommel equipped, which means that my uh, axe does not have fall damage. Uh, fall damage, I mean just fall off, it doesn't drop. So if I throw it in one direction, it just keeps going. Which is awesome, but sometimes takes a bit longer to get your axe back. There we go. So if I read that cor correctly, this should give us an apple or not. Ooh. I thought we were gonna get more apples. Or maybe that's just if you haven't collected them all originally. That might be it. Uh, we can't go on the lake just yet. It's gonna have to wait until later, but we can go across the bridge. I can't actually hit it. What we please, boy. No excuses. Indeed, no excuses. So let's go in. And then I think we already have our first little bit of uh, story time. Can and I one more fight. Can you hit it from here? Nope. We should get closer. So, I'm planning to put this on YouTube as well, but just as an uh, unedited video, but you're gonna oh, get it in full HD times. there. You never wanted to take me. Why if not? you just want to have it. It was her wish. And it was time. Okay. Okay. So that's, again, not saying much, but of course we know a lot by now. Especially this being New Game Plus. It, it is very interesting to go through this with all the information in mind, so... And out of the way! And then kill this one, there we go. And through the entire place, and I can grab the one on the right there. That was a bit distance from the rest. There we go. Asthma. Anything else? What's also very apparent while we're doing this is that I don't get pulled towards enemies as much as you did in the other... Because uh... usually if you were about two meters away from an enemy and you start to swing, Kratos closes the distance rather quickly. Even though you're not actually able to hit him just yet. This makes it uh, a bit more interesting. The only thing I haven't really got... Um got going for me yet is to just use the blades of chaos to pull enemies towards me so again with wolves just throwing them is really uh ah he got me in the back there ah round shift just need to get that other wolf out of the way There we go. And if I recall this fight correctly, yeah, more shoots showing up. Oh, this one is quick. Smack, and then just keep going. There we go. Ready for trolls, boy. I know, I just. Is that a, a Skyrim yes. reference, by the way? Because I haven't got that dialogue option either because I didn't know you could open the door. Because uh, that again was another toy that I missed um, for the trophies. But still, still. Sounded like a, a Skyrim reference with the troll under the bridge. There we go. More slap, skag, skag, slap. Yeah, it's, it's a very weird name for... I know it's a term that uh, Brock uses at a certain point in the game. That they need it when they are making the, the key, I think. 
the key to get uh, to tier Stample in the back. And then, there we go. You froze it in place. Indeed we did. I know I'm clever. Even though we've played this already. <laughs> there we go, more scap slag, that was it. Scap slag, it's a really, really weird term. Still don't know what I can do with that, probably make some awesome gear, but let's head in. There we go. Nice. Atreus, don't get cocky with me. So, some more material going? gathering, because there's a chest on the left, and then we have another uh, story panel back in the temple. At the first floor, there we go, perfect. Perfect. The very, very bright red from uh, the God of War logo itself. There we go. Going in. Let's just... And open this up. We can get a bit of uh, story time while we're Over going here. along. Oh look! It's Skull and Hati. Skull and Hati. The wolves who chased the sun and moon. Where did they come from? How did they get Boy. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Never mind. I thought he was he, he was gonna continue. Just wanted to get the chest. So yeah, Skull and Hati, the wolves that try to uh, eat the sun and moon, and when they actually do, Ragnarok is uh, set in motion, which we're getting closer to. Spoiler! Um, again, spoiler alert, because we're going to start uh, yeah, talking about a few things from uh, the ending of the game, or which are only revealed by the ending of the game. Um, there we go. Because, yeah, I don't want to spoil anybody's uh, enjoyment of this very, very amazing game. So if you don't want to hear anything about the story, back out now, and otherwise... Let's continue talking. So yeah, Ragnarok is set in motion at the end of the game, but not by Skull and Halti. By us, for some reason. By us killing Baldur. So it's weird, right? We don't, we don't really know why that exactly is, why killing Baldur sets off Ragnarok, or kind of starts it, even if it is on a bit of a longer timer. Because uh, in the very, very last scene when you... Okay. That was weird. In the very last... I'm walking really, really slowly. In the very last scene when we see uh, Thor in the uh, teaser for, of course, what's going to be the next game. Um, that's years after the, the, the rest of the game. So, it's not Wait for my certain when that's going to be Ragnarok. Relax. Still seems a, think of it as a few animal. years off, but... Uh, it is simply a target. Clear your mind. There we go. In the hearts. Good. Love the side of him at this point. Really, really cool that he starts uh, smiling and cheering at that point. But, it's of course, still alive. yeah, it's still alive. You're gonna have to do some more work, buddy. Your knife. It's weird to see these no. scenes now with the golden Finish armor and the. Uh, Trey is also in full getup, but uh, here we go. What a difference compared to the rest of the game. The evolution these two characters go through is amazing. Just slowly, slowly going in. Watching the life drain out of the deer. Still, this, this is an amazing looking game. Not just looking, it's just an amazing game overall. And I'll gladly go through it on this difficulty. And this, this is such a great moment, that hesitation. And then of course, the blatant Jump scare. <coughs> Kick. Hello, Dodie. We're gonna fight that? We have no choice. Dodie, cup mother. Here. 
so no abilities just yet. That's interesting. What does the wolves do then? Those are blue wolves! You know, I probably can do this entire fight with just throws. I just go in like that, and then the extra one. There we go. And then he's frozen, actually. Oh. There we go. Of course, we have all our abilities, so this is not gonna. It's not gonna take all that long. Because he has a large health bar. And then we're gonna activate Blessings of Frost and just go to down to this thing. This is gonna get stunned really easily during this. I think I might be able to kill him even. Probably the best ability in the game. Just keep whacking him over and over again. We have one more second. There we go. And there we go. A bunch. Whack. Um, damn. There we go. Because, yeah, the animation is different the first time around. Right. He breaks his neck. The anime. And there we go. Boy. Think I'm afraid of you. I mean, just the voice yeah, acting on this. Me. Boy, look at me. This, look at me, boy. The prepubescent boy. rage. He, him losing his voice completely. It's really, really nicely done. You are not ready. And this, of course, being another pivotal scene because he sees himself in his in Atreus. Are you serious? Yup. I found the deer. I proved myself. How am I not ready? We are going home. I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. So he thinks it's about his sickness. Not ready. And there he goes, with all his blood and guts and flesh all over the place. Just completely gone. Nothing left. Do not speak again. Seems like we don't really have anything extra here. Though I could use the health stones. So again, your mother knew we were gonna do this, Atreus. A lot of her markings just lying around. Uh, is this a full one? Well, it's full for me at least. Maybe I should get that back. That came from the moon. Oh. No, oh, you should not be doing that. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. And uh, there we... And uh, uppercut. There we go. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm guessing we don't have the chisel. No, we don't. <laughs> I was just. Still can't get the doors open. I was huh? almost expecting him to pull that out. Because he has the rest of his gear, but apparently not that. Because of course you would be able to skip large portions of the game if you were able to do that. Fuck your crates. There we go. Is there anything else here? I don't really think so. So let's just climb up for the final fight of the area. Now it's just in time. And then... Boop. Oh, that one evolved. Oh god. Okay. He just came out of nowhere. Oh. 
Okay, so that one's just... Boom! Nothing to worry about, because of course we have the Blades of Chaos. Did you? Oh yeah, you did. You don't want your son to speak. You do need to be careful with retribution that you uh, pull it back immediately, because otherwise it's on the other end of the forest. There we go. In the garden. Another uh, interesting thing, this is Hell Bramble. You normally can destroy that with your blades, but you can't Wait. Seriously? I didn't think anything could get through all that hell bramble. That's interesting, because now it's actually locked. You can't get up the ladder. It's a locked ladder. Um, that was weird, because I've been through this. I tried to destroy that hell bramble on my original playthrough, but, but I couldn't. And since when are droggers so close to the house? And what was that frozen thing that attacked us? I do not know. Now be silent. We are almost home. We kind of know all of that, but let's get into home, because of course, things are about to kick off. Inside boy. Inside boy. Yeah, it's actually really interesting. I've read an interview with uh, that Kotaku had with Corey Barlog, uh, the director of God of War. And he actually also revealed why God Kratos says boy that often. Um, the reason of that, because of that, is the reason for that is because um, they didn't actually know how they were gonna knew how they were gonna call Atreus, so they just even at the time that the Christopher Judge uh, well spoke all of his voice lines, they didn't know how Atreus was gonna be called, so that's why he always says "boy" in most of the uh, voice lines, because most of the dialogue. Because they just didn't know that beforehand. Because if you start looking around on the internet, they have a lot of uh, developer articles. And most of the developer articles also talk about the son and not about Atreus by name. Because they didn't know how they were going to call him. Because of course his name is such an important part of the story. But there we go. Let's head in. Because I think, is this the first time you can actually walk around freely? I think it is, right? Yeah. So, I'm not really sure where the letters are exactly. Because, yeah, they're hidden around here. Yeah, I think they're pretty high up, but for some reason... So, yeah, he's talking to himself. I just wanted to take a look around if I couldn't spot a single... Letter, because the, the lighting changes a bit depending on where you stand. Um, it's supposed to be around here somewhere. Huh. Hello. Hmm. Not really spotting us, but it's, it's one of the secrets that... Uh, they put in just the name Loki inside of the house, but I don't know exactly where the positions are for the symbols. I think they were pretty high up, but for some reason... Yeah, not really spotting anything. It's supposed to be on the beams, etc., but yeah, even in this lighting, I can't really... Well, kudos for those gamers that actually found it. Might be on the outside of the house as well. That I'm just, uh, or I'm just blind. I should have seen one of those letters already. But let's talk to Atreus. Lost control. That thing was trying to kill us. It's not like you don't get anger in a fight. Anger can be a weapon if you control it, use it. You clearly cannot. When you, I haven't been sick in a long time. I'm better now. Fine. Come on, then. Punch me. You want me to hit you? I want you to try. I want you to try. Ow! What are you... Try again. Why are you doing that? Too slow. Try again. Cut it out! Weak. Again. Again! Stop it! Again! 
And there we have the rage. And of course, the sickness being tied to the rage. Because he doesn't know he's a god. You can get lost in it. That ahead is difficult. And you, Atreus, are clearly not ready. But we won't have a choice in a minute. Quiet. So the cool thing is actually we know now what that sound is. Because it's the armor dragon. The armor dragon that Baldi is no riding. Use hiding anymore. I know who you are. What's going on? Do you know him? More importantly, I know what you And this is even more right. interesting. The floor. Because now. But you told me never to go down there. When you first play the game, you think he's talking about Kratos being a gold. But of course, now that we've completed the game, we know that the Aesir are all about killing giants. And uh, Baldi is actually just looking for Faye. Because Faye is the last living giant. But they don't know that Kratos is not a giant. I thought you'd be bigger. Definitely the and that's one. another hint, of course. I thought you'd be bigger, because giants home, are bigger, of, all, of course. What do you want? Oh, you. And a long way from home is from Jotunheim, so it's it's really really the nicely done. Do the, have the misdirection in this scene. You should move on. <laughs> and here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us, so much smarter. And yet, you hide out here in the woods, like a coward. Again, talking about giants, and not uh, you do Greek not gods. Fight. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. And there we go. One, two, three, slapping fight. Leave. Because this makes it even more interesting, because Baldi, of course, does not know he's talking to another god. So he's cocky. Because he knows he won't lose this fight. Especially since he's immortal. And that's not even a big punch for what's about to happen. You would not listen. And one, two, three. Fine. My turn. Oh. And there we go. Ah, this scene makes so much more sense now. There we go. Pull out of the way. And get ready for the tutorial fight on the hardest difficulty. And the music is amazing as well. There we go. There we go. And they added extra animations here just to have you uh, kick him into trees and everything like that. There we go. Just count it. Sideways. I think I didn't. Yeah, he didn't get me there. And what I didn't do the first time around is actually... You bore me. Okay. Counter attack. Like that. Ooh, this is gonna hurt, by the way. I'm just gonna do this for a second, because I'm actually gonna get a few things back from that. I'm gonna get my health back and probably just get him to the next stage. And then this is gonna get me. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, kind of wasted that then. Okay. This looks even cooler with my blades green like that. Why are there two beds in? There we go. 
Because he just thinks he's looking for one giant. He doesn't know anything else. He doesn't even know he's looking for a woman originally. And especially doesn't know that that woman has a family. Including a Greek god. And I'm following. I love the camera in this game. This is just amazing. Yeah, you did. Because I'm going to toss a tree in your face. There we go. I love how you don't get the prompts this time. You need to do it all by yourself. There we go. Slow and old. You should never have come to Midgard. And healing all his cuts. So. And his health bar. Try again. You talk too much. Second phase. Well. Of course, second phase, but not before we actually get the uh, stuff in the mountain. You won't talk? Fine. Maybe whoever it is you've got stashed in that house will. So there we go, the rage meter going up, and we don't get anything extra. There we go. Budge, budge. Uh, oh yeah, the battering ram. Let's find out. Raw rage. Spartan rage. Um, and another interesting thing that the developers uh, gave away is that uh, Spartan rage is purposefully longer during this fight just to give you uh, a sense of everything. I'm not just gonna waste time, I'm just gonna spend it all. And a, a few nice punches, and then a bit more uh, faster ones because those do the more damage. Well, we destroy the entire scenery. There we go. There we go. I'm in a tree. Go. You're a vicious one, aren't you? Can't really do anything about that. Ooh, that was a bit weird. Positioning wise. That's pretty stood out now. Because of course they need to bring him towards the rock. That was a bit slidey. Baldur's body didn't uh, block that transition completely there. There we go. Smacking a big boulder on his face. There we go. And that shifts around the entire... Uh... It's actually really cool, because that... It's probably big enough to do that. <sighs> and you would think it's over by now, right? But of course, Baldi, if you know a bit of Norse mythology, even the name... That's why they called him the Stranger, because if you know a bit too much about Norse mythology, you know that uh, Baldur is immortal beforehand. Even the mistletoe is consistent with uh, Norse mythology. There we go. I wonder if he has any of the uh, remarks about him being so strong. I just needed answers, but you... Throw whatever you have with me. I'll keep coming. That old body will give out. But before I end this, I want you to know one thing. I can't feel any of this. And he actually can't. That's the whole point of bowling. And there we go. Up in the air again. 
going down. And again, this is such a reminiscent scene. In both God of War 1 and 2, there's like scenes like this in hell where you need to climb back up. This fight is pointless. Your struggle is pointless. The developers actually wanted to make this section also combat-wise, so you needed to dodge stuff from uh, Baldur and toss it back up to him. But uh, instead they uh, figured we wanted a bit of a break in this long-winded fight. There we go. But you, you feel everything, yet you, you keep trying. I'm not my brother. I would love that ability yeah, during combat. Wanted, it wouldn't have ended this way. But no. Let's finish this. We will. You can't beat me. There we go. And let's stun him for a second and then... I just want to make sure I use every uh, single bit. There we have the infant. I hate that attack. I don't know if I'm going to make this, actually. This is doing a lot more damage than he does before. And he gets away from attacks really... Yeah. Ooh, okay. Nice. Should try to get him launched. I can't kick your ass. Oh yeah, he's juggling. Oh yeah, if I can do this, this is fine. Two more seconds. I feel nothing. There we go. There we go. Oh, we can actually block that. That's cool. And smacky daisy. So that would block another transition. And then of course the perfect way to end this is with a good old fashioned neck snap. That wasn't really timed, but that you of everyone I faced would finally make me feel something, but you can't. And snap. That was it. It's rude, right? He does look like he's dead at the moment. And he can't technically be... Well, he can't be hurt, but he doesn't feel it. And he's immortal, so he does heal from all wounds. Because you can't actually impale him, cut him, because he saw cuts on his body. But yeah, still an amazing fight. And a bit more challenging on this difficulty. He would kick your ass if you're not used to the combat already. Ah. You 
does he eat? Well, his name is Baldur. No, he didn't. Did he know my past? Uh, no, he doesn't. Find me after all this time. It's all your wife's fault, actually. Hey, yep. What do I do? Our son is not ready to carry your ashes to the top of the mountain. Especially oh. since it's not that mountain. Come on. Kratos, heal up a bit. Use that fancy ability of yours again. I mean, because we were kind of almost full health at the end of the fight, so. And neither am I. Yeah. I do not know how to do this without you. This is a very good piece of dialogue to just indicate how long. His relationship with Faye must have been. But we even cannot stay separate here. from what uh from the age of Atreus. Of course, this is the point where Atreus has already found the Blades of Chaos, because they were hidden down there. Boy. There was so much I I thought You're alright. Of course we are. All right. Come. Gather your things. We are leaving. Carry your things, boy. We are leaving this wretched place. Thought I wasn't ready. Oh, would that have We're shown not. the blades? Because the camera kind of no panned down now. for a second there. Yes, sir. Because we do not have a choice right now. We need to leave. And of course, it's it's a bit weird because Kratos thinks, of course, that the gods are after him, for him being a god, and they just don't like other gods in their realm, the which is probably also the case. It's gonna be a long trip. There we go. Scap yes, slack. But an important one. All right, so let's Whoa. go down. How did this happen? Uh, we kind of kicked each other's asses. I do not know. What do you want with us? We're nobodies. Did you kill him? I did what had to be done. So of course, by the ending of the game, you realize that this story oh is all about Atreus. Never leave me alone again. All right. All right. Well, we will, but just once. Because you almost kind of die. Then we have to go to hell. Before, haven't you? You're used to it. We do what we must to survive. Animals I get. They're food. Draugr, they're supposed to be dead. But people, they're trying to survive too. Close your heart to it. On our journey, we will be attacked by all manner of creature. Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. Do not allow yourself to feel for them. They will not feel for you. I understand. So very cool. Has These are really actually areas we can actually go back to later on. Which um, means that there aren't any crucial collectibles. So let's just do that. I'm just gonna have to push Atreus up first. I mean, you can do this in any order, but... There we go. And since we now know that only those big chests actually contain useful materials, I think I might just skip the okay. smaller one up no there. To go from here, except across this bridge. So... Think you can lower it from there? Yep, there we go. Go. Made it! And then you can kick that down. And then I think it's just climb up. Although I don't really need to do anything else to get that chest, right? Just double jump across. An offering cast? Mother said Odin's disciples put them with gifts and hang them where thieves can't reach them. That one looked really old. Foolish. What is? Worshipping the gods? The gods care nothing for them. Men should not pray to monsters. 
So again, Kratos is intense hatred for the the gods, which is of course a long-running team. Yes. Friendly? No. They'll try and rob us? Possibly. Yes. Oh. And possibly try and kill us. Let's get that back down. You can push this down. The stupid thing is that he does that animation every time. He can't not go down when he kicks the, the chain down. Which is a bit annoying. But uh, compared to everything else in this game, this is just amazing. Look. All this time. There's been a protection stave around our entire woods. But the stave's broken there. Indeed it is. Did you cut those down? She had marked the tree she wished used for her pyre. Why'd she do that? That is interesting. I kind of missed that the first time around. So... It's not Baldur that breaks down the shield, it's Kratos who does now. that. Because of course Faye wants this set in motion, so... She tells Kratos... That... Which trees she need, he needs to cut down, and those trees are actually what the protection stave is formed of. Because yeah, it's not just a magical ring, it's actually just the trees that are that color as well. It's not just a small effect. And because Kratos fells, we fell that one tree at the very beginning of the game. The portal is opened and that causes Odin to send Baldur over here with his armored freaking dragon to break down the house. Right there. It actually makes kind of sense right now. It's a really cool detail. Okay, let's keep going. I wonder what else we're gonna just think of so. because... How long will it There's take a lot of hints nothing? hidden in the game. I do not know. Before uh, winter falls? About I what happens know. later on. Okay, okay. There we go. And this is the fight that uh, the developers usually use to display a lot of the... They don't see us. The things that uh, happen. What you can do... There we go. Robin. Ah, oh, crap. They can all do that now. And then the freezing throw. You know what? I'm just gonna kick him. Next up. He was gonna... Yeah, he was legendary. And then we have the one up top, if I recall correctly. You need to be careful because most of these actually. And then rip them open. Go. That sets that guy on fire, but I can still rip them open. Need to kill that one. There we go. Uh, rip. Only two left. And then just we can do one. Oh fuck. Right. 
And of course, stunning is the quickest way of taking these guys out. There we go. Shattered into a thousand pieces. How was that? Did I help? If you want to help, distract them. Whoever is not my focus should be yours, but only when safe to do so. I can do that. So again, there's a lot of tips that Kratos actually gives Atreus that also apply to us as players. Like, so only fire when... Don't, don't, only fire once, for example. Just fire when needed, not fire willy-nilly. Which is, of course, a uh, very good tip. Okay, there we go. Don't know how big the, the hack silver costs will be of all of uh, the stuff we can make in New Game Plus, but I'm guessing it's gonna be a lot. Like a whole lot. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, Atreus, just read Over that. Here. Sir. You might actually learn a few things extra from early game tips. There's a Yetnar settlement ahead. Yetnar? Giants. You can read the writing. Some. Just the language his mother knew. But they're all sort of connected, so sometimes I can feel my way through stuff I shouldn't know. You know? That is interesting. Because, of course, since he knows Yutnar as a base language, that just indicates again that his mother, because he knows the languages that his mother knew, and, of course, since she's a giant, it makes perfect sense that she knows the language as well. Very, very cool. All those little details. There we go. And boom. There we go. Idiot. Anything else? Space your shots. Speed cost accuracy. Got it. Hmm. Again, more tips for us. Now. I think there's a chest over there. I'm really curious what this is gonna be. Sorry, I bumped the. Uh... Bump, bump the, the table there. I'm not going to be able to edit that out like I usually do when I bump the table. I'm sorry for the uh, occasional weird noises. 16,000 hacksaws. So those chests give you uh, a hell of a lot of hacksaws. There we go. And I think we're almost... Yeah, there's the bridge. We're getting to the, to the river pass. The river pass. It's fine. No, it's not. See? Three, two, one. There we goes. Father, help! Hang on! Hey! I'm slipping! Stay calm! Almost there! And... We're going down for yelling timber. So this was the first hard fight for me in the game. Your haste will cost us. I really, really struggled with the, the first encounter with the heavy draugers. So the first bet Ugh, should not be too hard. Draugr. But they're gonna Did be higher mean, level. Are they dead? I mean, more dead? Boy. And they're gonna start having lag energy, I think. Not dead, not dead! Love how we just... Nope! Remember, accuracy over speed! Oh, gold, yeah. Uh, aim it around the middle. And I can grab at least one of those. I think I might be able to... Kill that one. And open that up just before I get hit. Just a bit of crowd control. And grab this one. I do so much stun damage that I just keep going. Oh shit, yeah. And then open that guy up, I'm gonna kill the one on the left. Where's the... where's... where's... Just wanna kill that one, yeah. Got me gold as hell back. Oh, 
damn it. Aiming is also not auto-aimed anymore. That was an explosion from my abilities. So I'm just gonna run around a bit because I'm... Uh, Go. Yeah, okay, hold this. Oh god, yeah. Just gonna do this. There we go. Rip him. And I was just standing there like a doofus. Okay, let's quickly get some health. Because that was actually pretty close. Take even more time. It does not matter if you fire only once. Show me control. There's a voice line I was looking for. Escape the ruins. Let's just read this thingy, because we can't actually escape the ruins at the moment. Yeah, read it. Yeah, of course, it's the same button as reading. Um, is there actually... I can hear a raven. And yeah, there it is. The first one! Read there it. we go. Oh, this is from the marketplace. The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. Odin is a bit of a jerk. They are? So I'm gonna try to kill the first one with pretty much my runic attack and then the normal attacks. Because there's a few extra ones after that. And he goes off the edge. <laughs> Come on, get him off. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, god. And then just grab him. As long as I'm buffed. Oh crap, yeah. In the face. And I get some off. Or not. Just give him an extra touch. Thank you, Mike. There we go. I do love my abilities. I've, I've been experimenting in my, my original playthrough a lot with the runic attacks, but I'm pretty happy with what I have now. Let's get up here. Uh, do you hear that? What is it? We my see. worst nightmares. Stay close. Just heal up, drop down, and let's get into our first fight with a revenant. There's a few bots in this area as well, if I recall correctly, yeah. There's one over there. Which drops all the way down. I think there was a second one. So we're going towards the scary scene? Of course we are. There we go, and that gets us. Damn it. No, you won't. And no, you won't again. And that was really easy. Yeah, are you glad you saw one? Because this place, this place just creeps me out. But, uh, first thing I want to do is actually go down, because there's two ways you can go here. I still jump. don't understand why that man attacked you at our house. I told you, boy. I know nothing more of it. 
Hi, Owen. Kind of missed your message there. I'm sorry, buddy. So that's how you get down here. Everything okay? Everything okay? We're uh, I'm going full spoilers. So if you haven't finished the game, by the way, don't, don't continue watching because I'm going to be talking about a few things. No, you should not be doing that. And let's just charge that up. This is gonna go oh, legendary. Ah, oh, he did. And there we go. And just, just for good measure, could have probably easily won this without that. But there we go. Like it's nothing. True butter. That does give us uh, another chest here. Ah, nice. Three, three runs already. That's so you're probably a lot more experienced than I am. It is. It is just so such an amazing game. It use gold, just hacks over, so no, no extra stuff. I just keep getting that. Wait. Slap, skag, skag, slap. And there's a bunch of them waiting up there for us. And they're really mad. Boy. Sorry. Imagination. Okay. So yeah. Respect, by the way, to doing this three times. And on what difficulties did you do it? Did you uh, go for the highest as well, eventually? Because I'm really dreading a few of the fights on this difficulty. Because I'm guessing the Valkyries are going to be one-shotting me. There we go. Yeah, the main game. Have you beaten... Beaten... What's that? Gay... Gay ma... Ah. Oh. Oh, hi. That was just in time. Oh, I just don't want to drop down. Let's just get him off his feet. And just rip him apart. Uh, there we go. So I'm just going to do this first, because I think there's a revenant... Oh, he has lag energy. And punch that back. And then up to Daisy. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's one in the back. Just gonna sidestep that one. So he's almost down. That's gonna finish him off. Just wrecking the scenery, baiting in Draugr blood. Look here, Ooh. another. It says his name is. Hrungir, Hrungir, Hrungir. Giant warrior made of stone. Looks like he was in a pretty big battle. Odin's the Thor, even the world serpent. Oh, Thor must have smashed his head apart. Hrungir's body squished him. Idiot. So that makes you wonder whether this is still supposed to happen or did that happen before? It's really, really, really weird. Um, that's yes, just sir. scrolls. I'm just gonna skip that because if you wanna, if you wanna see any of the scrolls, I've re I've read them all out loud in uh, in the normal uh, playthrough on the YouTube channel. So I don't really care. Yeah, I just wanna get a bit of rage maybe. Might be uh, handy in this difficulty. Because the 25 experience definitely isn't worth it. Sorry for the confusion. I meant to say, have you beaten the main game yet? Yes, I've beaten the main game, but they're still gonna come out uh, three times a week. So there's always gonna be an episode on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So that means that by, I think, the 9th of September is gonna be the final episode. So, uh, yeah, prepare for that. And uh, by then we're going to have done all the side stuff as well. So the final episode is going to be every every single thing 
with a few a few extras added on top. I'm not gonna spoil anything just yet, but uh, it's just cool. This this game just has a really really good way of uh, ending everything, and of course teasing the next game. Um, then we have the R over there, and if I recall correctly, the C is all the way down somewhere. No, damn it! I've done this before. Just gonna whack that thing. Um, put that down. Earlier, you said people might try and rob us. I'll kill them if they try. I'm not afraid. If we encounter men, you will stay out of it. Understand? But I can fight. You will stay out of it, boy. Speak no more of this. Speak no more of this. Speak no more of this. Okay, so where's the... Man, it's been like three months when I first did this chest. I don't know where to see it anymore. I know I was looking for it a few times, but... Let's just go up here, because I know there's another chest on the other side here that we haven't checked out yet. Or did we? No, we opened that. But from here... Is it from here? No. It is from here, right? I can just open that up. Open that up, yeah. There we go. Because I don't think that's actually the normal route that you're supposed to take, or is it? Man, it's been so long. Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. So yeah, no apples for me, sadly. And there we go. There we go. 8,000 hack silver. It's gonna come in handy because we're pretty close to Brock now. But uh, yeah. The next fight is actually, it's really cool. I've, I've, I've watched a few developers play and they said that <gasps> most, most of the people are actually hit by this fight. Because this fight really, really breaks them. As it did for me because it took me a while to get this uh, fight down. There we go. Should get the Rage Stone. I'm gonna use the Rage Stone in a second, so that's gonna trigger the Revenant. So we need to be careful. So if I just activate this, I wanna... Yeah, just dodge that. She goes. I'm just gonna rage on this guy. I know there's enemies in my back. Yeah, there goes the other one. Just gonna take out that guy and that infinity stone. There we go. Rip them apart. Oh yeah. Into the wall. Ah, smack. Goodbye. Woo. The combat is still amazing in this game. I really, I really love how everything flows once you get into it. Yeah, one of the tougher beginning fights, and I didn't even need to use the Rage of the Golds. I, I, keep, I keep calling that Rage of the Gold Spartan Rage. I do apologize. There we go. Just. Um, so I need to pull that down. One more time. And then. Uh, smack. You did it. Of course I did. Alt. Healthstone? Yeah, I don't really need the Healthstone. Oh, it's really nice. That Infinity Gauntlet is so awesome. The effect and the noise it makes, it's, you think it's safe so here? goldly. It was a really nice step, by the way. It took me a while to get there, eventually. To actually get it. It isn't there. There was another crow. No, it's a bit further. It's a bit further on. But, 
Um, another very pivotal scene, of course. The next one. Here we go. Open that up. And we get a very, very stupid fight. Oh, what's that smell? It's uh. Now. So it's actually the only time touched. in the game we actually see humans. Sigmund, you're nice. So many days without me. And of course they're hungry. Wait, us? Behind me. What if they change like the others? We'll have to keep them alive. Strip off their meat. This fight so, is mine alone. I'm not gonna use the blades. Because the blades of chaos is gonna is very good for crowd control. But yeah, even on this difficulty and on new game plus, they are easier. Um So again, yeah, on give me God of War. You don't have What do you mean? There we go. So they force you to look at that guy. So you need to be uh, far away from Atreus. Atreus! And of course, there we go. Atreus' first kill. Boy. Which is very pivotal, of course, because this is one of the moments that define him. That face. It's so amazingly done. I mean... I, I think it's even bad that they undercut it with what happens in a second. Close your heart to it. Because this is such a great scene. Come then. We have a long journey. <laughs> Yeah, and then they undercut it with that, of course. So again, great scene, but sadly, the ending could have gone a bit better, I feel like. Wait here. My least favorite part of the this. game. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. That's out of ball. Um, that's a really tough question, actually. Maybe Alfheim, yeah. Could be Alfheim because... And it's it's not saying much, of course, because this entire game is amazing. And I don't know if Alfheim itself, because Alfheim is really, really cool looking. Just the level design is amazing. But it's, of course, different. Oh. Ah. Yeah, that's another trick I don't think is in the videos yet. That I do that attack. My least favorite part of the game. Ha! Huh. I don't know. They all serve their purpose, kind of. They came back. It is finished. I won't leave here. Then collect yourself. We must find a way out. Maybe, maybe even hell, because I feel like hell is kind of. Helheim is the least worked out area, aside from Muspelheim and Niflheim just being challenge realms. But I feel like Helheim could have been the chain. better somehow. Maybe it's okay. just because I was expecting something to happen with the big bird in Helheim, and nothing ever did. But still, yeah. I mean, it's not saying much because this entire game is just amazing from start to finish. Because even these low-key moments like we have here, they're really, really nicely done and they serve a purpose. They need to set up the world, they need to set up Atreus and, and the bond between Kratos and Atreus. So definitely has its purpose. Especially, Atreus. you need to urge Atreus Jane. only here even, after his first human kill. Yeah, the Dark Elves are annoying. Even, even in Niflheim, that was kind of the most annoying in your head, part. Let it go. Because it takes a lot longer to kill him because of their flying ability. Because it recovers so quickly from being juggled. But eventually you get around that a bit because they're homeboy. They have their own weaknesses. Give up this easily. So close to the start. Wait, no. I'm not giving up. I can do this. I just have to 
You know, catch my breath. Come on up. I'm ready. Yes, you are. And kick it down. There we go. There's a good boy. Boy. Um, I must say, I do like the way people call this game Dad of Boy instead of God of War. Just because Recently, he says boy so much. To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. I understand. Uh, there's an older raven here, if I recall. Or did I already? Because I don't hear it, actually. I thought there was one... Hmm. I don't see it. Must have, must have taken it out, because this is the fast travel point. And I kind of remember from doing the trophies that there was one over here. Not that I really need to do that, of course. Open up the chests. Because I can't actually sprint at the moment. Uh, I don't know if they actually get upgraded further in New Game Plus. I would hope so, because they have their own stats, but right now they're the max. I don't know if that actually... Hmm. It doesn't say on the screen anymore that that's maxed. But I won't be able to be sure unless we get to... Um to the lake itself when we get the proper blacksmith because I don't think we can actually do something here. Hello, Brock. Can't get okay. this slow eyed cock to cross the bridge. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Father, so it's really what weird. Of those trees on the other side of the bridge. The ones with the white trunks. It, I, I feel like this scene is a bit weird because we know Brock and Sinri just teleport their, their, their workshop all over the place. So why would you need this uh, this animal? And I think that must actually be the troll we fight later on. You're right. Yeah, normally we get our first upgrade here. I do hope we, we, we get further upgrades, but I don't think they'll be able to make the, the axe more fancy visually. What's yours? Again, an indication that Atreus can talk to animals. With his godly powers. Say, uh, you're not gonna believe me, but... That axe you got. It was me what made her. Me and my brother. Was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. You gotta handle her special. Or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I don't know, we've been throwing that thing all right over the place. So pleases you, son of a bitch. Language. So see you. you are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, <laughs> we can't actually me, see it anymore. <laughs> I got half because the actual existence. Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very yes. Well. Please. Expect an improvement. Pretty please. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look. Okay. What's it gonna be this time? Craft and upgrade a variety of powerful new items in dwarven shops. Um. So yeah, let's check that out. So, Cold of War. <laughs> oh. Ah, yeah, my Witcher Three, uh, my Witcher Three gear videos. Yeah, they're the most popular ones because they're they're on the wiki, I think. Um, because I made the uh, yeah pretty much everything. I think all the gear pieces I've, I did eventually. That is 
That is interesting. So it's the only option. The Cold of War is actually an Easter egg from, um, I think even Cold of War 1, where you could uh, put Kratos in a fish costume. <laughs> um, so we need 17 scab slag for that. Big Splash, using a health stone or rage stone creates a powerful explosion that inflicts frost and burn damage to all nearby enemies. That is cool. But, I mean, it looks like shit. <laughs> Come on. If Kratos' health bar is full, using health stones will grant rage instead. If Kratos' rage bar is full, using rage stones will grant health instead. So that's just helping out with the difficulty a bit. Not, I mean, I like my, my Valkyrie abilities a lot more. Cry Haddock, using a health stone or rage stone grants a protective barrier, preventing damage from enemy attacks. But I'm going to assume that that's not the only thing we can actually make. That there's going to be extra things later on. We can actually make everything we could before as well. Which is cool. It'll it be, Shorty. Ah, but this might be interesting. Hmm. All the perks of the, of the three other things. So that's going to be my first buy. That's definitely going to be my first buy. Massively increases Atreus' melee damage and recovery speed and decreases arrow recharge time. Yep. Definitely going for that first. But I don't seem to be able to. Oh, don't okay. look now, but our friends who were hiding in the trees are back for more. Go on, give that action twirl. I don't think we got an upgrade. As long as you don't break, gonna... There we go. And then I'm gonna go behind. And then in the back. Can I go? Come on. Yeah, come on. Because I know I can charge him. There we go. There we go. Ah, rip apart. Just a bit of fun. Just a bit of fun. Is that one still up? Ah, what the daisies? And okay, nope, I got. Okay, where, where the hell did he go? Just ended in style. You gonna learn to do that too? I'm not sure. This road, it leads to the mountain. Should put you in the right direction, sure. Want to see my wares again? You know what? Let's Why not? To it. So it's still the Cold of War. Wait, there's, is there more? Ah, no. Just garbage. So upgrade. I can't upgrade the axe. So I didn't even get any materials either. There are new. Hmm. New enchantments. Mark of Kvazir. Exchange the fully upgraded amulet of Kvazir for a perfect enchantment that activates Realm Shift. Temporarily slowing down surrounding enemies. On the last second dodge. An imperfect mark of protection. Ooh, that is actually cool. So you can change talisman abilities into... Ooh, enchantments. That is actually really cool. And this one is new as well. Generate epic enchantment. Ah. Now I understand, uh, Owen. Yeah, okay. So you've seen the playthrough three times. And how are you liking uh, my playthrough? Is it uh, sizing up towards the other ones? Because <laughs> I don't, I mean, I, I'm running a really, really small channel, so I don't know how much I'm, uh, I'm sizing up to the, the other, uh, the big boys. But I really like this game. I mean, this is, I'm going to do this all over again, just on the highest difficulty. And probably put another, a few other, uh, Videos on the channel Hello. regarding God of War. Oh, you ask a lot of questions. Oh, really? Thank you. Thank you for the compliments. Yeah, I really, really appreciate the the, the feedback. Thank you. It's really nice to hear because, of course, I don't have a lot of viewers, so I do get the chance to talk to a few people every once in a while on the occasional oh, stream I do. 
There we go. Piece of magic. But yeah. Thank you for the very, very kind words. Ah, yeah. I'm, I'm usually very, very thorough. If you've seen any of the the Witcher videos, I think I think I kind of ended it at about 200 episodes. My Witcher tree playthrough. Did you now? I think well, I've done everything there, nice but you, oh, so I'm sorry, I cut off the dialogue there. How about I name her fucking gratitude? Hey, fucking gratitude, come over here. <laughs> I like you. Yeah, fucking gratitude. Kind of forgot about that one. Fucking gratitude. Yeah, one of the ninety-six episodes, right? And there's a few. I think there's one episode you where I did a part one and part two. I did. People are one thing. Everything else you fight until I say stop or we are dead. You understand? Pull your weight or we go. There we go. More Good scap slag. Day. I'm a scap slag. And there we go. So yeah, talking about the Witcher, I'm still waiting on uh, on Gwen to be fully back out. Yep. But I think we can just go back up because that was just for the chests. There we go. Because there's just those two side areas. Kind of have a pretty good mental map of the entire game right now. Um, there we go. And just pull this up. And I think I'm actually gonna end it here. Because I've done this entire bit in one go. Might be good for one uh, for one stream. I'm gonna have to go... Uh, that place can bust you up real good. I'm gonna go to bed because otherwise the missus is gonna be uh, a bit angry. Otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna do Gwent. The once the the campaign comes out, I'm gonna do Gwent. The entire campaign of Gwent, um, definitely because I'm, I'm I've been really awaiting that. Uh, I took a bit of a break from Gwent because yeah, it's not been been uh, growing that much this? since they're Let's still working on the DLC. The DLC, not the, the final campaign. I'm actually... No, I'm just going to leave that dialogue option. I'm just going to say goodbye like this. So yeah, Owen, Owen, thank you enormously for watching. And uh, hope you enjoyed this little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do this often because I want to get through the entire game on uh, Give Me God of War and see what else New Game Plus has to offer. Because they were talking about enemies also getting new tricks. So I'm guessing a few of the other enemy types will have... Uh, new abilities so i'm cu very curious about that i'm uh, probably gonna just export this raw on the, the youtube channel as well so um just to have this a really raw cut of this on uh, on on the channel just in full hd but uh thank you owen and everybody else who might still be watching according to the statistics there's only one but one person watching but uh thank you and i hope to see you guys in the next stream or episode goodbye